Case dismissed. Uh, I want an apology from the internet because my lawyer got everyone's case dismissed. She wanted me. All right, so if you just watched that video, you heard Jace basically say that he deserved an apology because Summers and the rest of the people involved in the case that he allegedly snitched, not allegedly, he snitched, that he snitched on or snitched in, I don't even know, had beat their case. And not only was this stone cold proof that he was not a snitch, it also meant they had to say, hey man, thank you because because of your lawyer, we beat this case, all right? And Summers did post on his story, beat the state, F him, you know? And the reason he beat it is because the victim literally didn't show up to court. It was not because of Jace's lawyer. I'm sorry to all the Jace stands. And um, actually, I think nobody would have really said too much about this other than Summers. But Jace went on a stream and he said, hey, man, we need an apology. He also um, went on live and started like celebrating, saying, oh, my God, I can finally show this. And it's a uh, it's one of his toys. Like, cool. Oh, I can do this now. No, I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that now. You know, he's just happy and everything, and he was just like, I need an apology. And, you know, if you have half a brain cell, you'd be like, what do you mean you need an apology, bro? Like, no one wants to apologize to you. And a lot of fans immediately understood this. One guy said, he didn't beat it, he just snitched and nobody went to jail. This guy named Martinez said, has to be the most delusional rapper. Another person said, rat. Another person said, he did not beat such allegations, bro. If that was the case, then Summers and them would have never had beef with them. So, I feel like there's a lot of trivial stuff in this whole situation, which I will go over later. But I think the funniest part about this is Jace literally ruined his career. And when I say ruined, I mean, if you were back in 2021, you know, like Jace was on the trajectory where it's just like, okay, you were going to, there's nothing that's going to stop you other than something crazy. And it's kind of funny. You're not funny. It's kind of just like interesting how this happened to multiple people like SG Kobe, you know, Jace was for other reasons. Jace was one of them where, you know, he was about to get this video on Lyrical Lemonade that would have just sent him to the mainstream. I don't know if you guys know this, but you know, Nardo Wick, like his song on TikTok was not that much bigger than Jace's. And he went on Lyrical Lemonade with some mainstream rappers and he blew. You know, and if Jace had done that, he could have really, really, really gone big. So this case and them all falling out with them and the whole snitch being labeled as a snitch in rap is like one of the, the deadly sins. Anyways, Can Can decided to chime in and he said, no, he's sick because um, Jace had uh, DM'd him. And he also said, or he said this earlier, actually, he basically ratted for no reason. Now you in paperwork for life on a dropped case. You dumb. Can Can also posted more screenshots of DMs where basically he said, or Jay said on God something and then he said it's okay bro you can admit you ratted them white boys don't care they still gonna bump you you don't gotta be hood for them bro it's white kids live your truth <laughs> all right Jace then said still a rat only reason case got dropped is because the victim didn't show up to court or not Jace sorry Kankan -Kan said this how you rat and you wasn't even the victim all right he also made a tweet where he said and we made Jace make white boy music guitar music all right and you know, some fans really took this stuff seriously. You know, this one page called Woke Up F said he snitched. Number two, unless I see Summers hanging around with this dude, he's still going to be lame because regardless, he did some stuff that MFs don't mess with. Even if it was just saying stuff they already knew. Why is it how he confirming their stuff? Cops wasn't there and he was actually involved. So why is he confirming stuff for them if he already knew it? You can still be a snitch even if no one did time. Point is you told for confer or confirmed statements that could possibly get mother or people time and that's why summers and them don't mess with you out of this whole situation jace is the only one who crashed out and legit turned to a twisty p tweaker so bro is asking for an apology as if he hasn't already crashed out and said a bunch of crazy stuff on the internet for attention he needs mental help not a kick deal okay this guy clearly does not like jace all right but they did make some decent points you know um jace basically is just asking for an apology yeah I, I don't, the whole asking for apologies thing is just kind of funny to me honestly bro i just think it's kind of like sad and weird type of a you, you know what i mean like he didn't need to do all you know what i mean like it's just like bro you really because i like some of jace's music it's like damn bro you really just your career could have really taken off and now it's kind of he's just coping to be honest he's just coping he's like bro like i need an apology honestly i actually would say hats off to jay if you know jace you know let's all give him a round of applause because like I didn't expect him to stick with the whole I'm not a stitch stick for so long. Like he might actually speak it into existent existence. Cause like all the Jace meat writers will actually tell you that he didn't snitch. Like they're they're either like br they they're either just like huge glazers or meat writers or they just don't have a br I don't know what it is, but 
there are people out there that will just tell you Jason didn't snitch. So you do have to kind of applaud him for that. But on the other hand, it's just like lame, dude. It's just like, bro, you know, I feel like Jace can never have the respect of anyone who thinks for themselves because anyone who just thinks for themselves would just be like, bro. All right. First of all, by the way, I do want to make this clear. I do not care that he snitched. Like, why would I care? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm in the suburbs, dude. Why would I? Bro, honestly, if I were like in Jason, if I was friends with him or if I was even acquainted and he asked me, I'd be like, bro, snitch 100%. You have a kid. You've got a family to take care of. He did the right thing. And I would say at the end of the day, he just should probably take more accountability for it, you know, because he does seem to be pretty smart. He never signed a bad deal. He has, you know, he's streaming. He's always like, he's always got something in the bag. So, you know, he's not like, we know he's not like slow because you see some rappers interviews. It's just like, bro. But, you know, Jace isn't like that. I feel like he just put himself in a horrible situation because the whole, the outcome of it was so bad. It's like, you whether you're either like that real one oh he held it down and like what if they he gets sentenced to like five ten years now he doesn't see his daughter for five ten years his rap career is in the dumpster it's like what you know and by the way if you do read through the case jay said fire a shot so he did have some like you know he did do something but he shouldn't have even been there summers basically uh, asked him to do his uh his dirty work and he's like okay bro and i don't know what it, the really what the relationship was like or he probably didn't think anything would come of it but you know it happened he made a bad decision and so both the choices weren't anything great so there's either you know i get humiliated or shamed by the internet or i take a risk that puts my family in danger and you know as a you know reasonable person he did what would you know be best for his family so you got to respect that at the end of the day it's just that the whole antics and stuff just makes everyone because in general bro like i feel like you know 6 9 6 9 the one thing about 6 9 is the moment he got out he's just like yeah i snitched i knew i was gonna snitch i'm a bitch like i would never ever ever hold it down the moment they like i took like bro i asked for the rbs immediately bro like i didn't want you know what i mean and people somewhat people somewhat like kind of were like you know what dude like <laughs> it makes sense bro they they robbed you they messed with your uh, you know your girl they did all the stuff so like yeah dude like yeah 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 it makes sense that you snitched and the same thing would probably be applied to jace if he just said that and said i snitched like people would actually address it head on but instead he says like because he says he's not a snitch everyone's like bro you're a snitch so that's why the conversation will never move on from are you a snitch to because people don't no one's going to think two steps ahead you know what i mean everyone is always going to be like no one is they're never going to have that whole situation or argument that okay they're never going to think more critically about the situation if you always leave it whether you're a snitch or not because rap fans love that stuff bro they eat it up dude like there's this guy i forget his name his name is like jake or some something i forget his channel but he has a bro he has like a million subscribers off of just exposing snitches you know what i mean and i think his video on jace too so you know the whole paperwork situation isn't exactly great on the other hand you know you look at summers bro like bro summers got off so easy on this like he got like street cred or whatever this is exactly what he was looking for so far like you know what i mean now he just beat a case like he's about to rap on it for the next three years <laughs> like you know what i mean uh and uh yeah yeah honestly it was just such such a lose-lose situation for jace another thing i'm also surprised about is why doesn't he just not ever bring it up because you know whenever you get hate you can responding to it is always really risky and usually just a bad idea but he seems to just go on this head on he just does not care you know what i mean and uh he's been fine for the most part you know what i mean it's just like extra you know and on the other hand i do have a video on this coming out as well i think tomorrow or the day after but can can too you know you know, no offense to can can i like can can but he's not like that like we all know that he's not like that everyone knows that summers isn't like none of these guys are actually like that so the whole situation is such a i don't know it's just such a like it's not like a circus it kind of like a it's just like yeah just bro none of y'all are do you know what i mean so overall i would say that jace really just put himself in a really bad position just you know maybe just take it as a lesson like yo if someone tells you to do something dumb just don't do it you know what i mean like i feel like i think there are a ton of like sports players i forgot the name there there's like a football player that crashes that crashes out ha <laughs> you can't believe you use that word all right sorry guys it's, it's kind of getting into my vocabulary but anyways there's like a football player like a, some like college player that like always like crashes out or like really does and gets charged with something and then you look and it goes on the news and it's like oh my god they could have made the the nfl or been drafted to the nba and they would have gotten this big contract but they were just hanging around the wrong people and that happens all the time and you know you see just in life in general you know what i mean and the whole snitching thing in general is just so 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 silly because i feel like people like lil mabu and you know even people like jace and all these, they're kind of like breaking that down and i feel like you know at the end of the day you got it like hip-hop was built on african-american like black culture so and really just like the streets right so if that's what they value you kind of have to accept that and you can't just be like oh that's so stupid when they it's literally there you know they you, what are you gonna say like you know it's just like weird like you can't you gotta understand you just gotta understand. like i understand why that's a whole thing but uh and i don't i don't really think it's gonna stay for much longer because rap is being so commercialized and it's completely it's like can can said it's all white kids and what's kind of funny is can can's fan base is also all white kids so just like are you you know it's like it's that one spider-man meme where it's like he's pointing the finger he's pointing the finger it's like bro come on y'all are you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day 
I feel like this entire story, it's just cool that, it, not cool, it's just, it's just come to an end and it's pretty clear, Jace is a snitch. Did his lawyer actually help them beat the case, bro? I don't know, dude, I have no idea. Like, you can go on, you can just go on YouTube and look at, like Jace has probably an hour, if you prob if you really went on the internet, you could probably find an hour long compilation of Jace's spazzing out about him being a snitch, Summers, Jace, you know, this and so. Whenever you do stuff like that, you just look desperate and just looks weak, so. He definitely didn't handle it in the best way is what I'm trying to say. And I don't think it's, I don't, I don't really think it's fair. He got slandered so much and it is very unfortunate that his career ended up the way it is. And he's not down bad or anything, but he could have just been so much bigger. And because of the streaming and everything, he's on like a, he's on like an uptick. So it's cool. It's cool to see, you know, I'm going to be excited to check out Reverence 2 as a fan or whatnot. But yeah, those are really my thoughts on the situation. I just think the whole thing is a little, come on, bro. Like on both sides, really like y'all are not like that. He snitched. Okay. We get it. Does anyone really even care? <laughs> The only, the only, the only point you can make, as the last thing I'm gonna say before the end of the video is, as a street rapper or as someone who portrays a street image as a rapper, who, which you know Jace does, you gotta like, you if you snitch, it's just gonna look bad, bro. Because like, how can you rap about what you rap about and then you know, snitch? But as I said earlier, we do understand your situation, and everything. So it's cool, you know. I don't care if you snitch. Cool. I, I would, who wouldn't snitch? Like none of you guys watching this video would not snitch if you're facing 10 years in jail or like 20 years in jail, unless maybe it's like your best friend who you, or someone you grew up with or your family or like your mom or you know someone like direct family. Like, you all would all snitch. Come on, bro. All of you would. But anyways, take care. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Bye. My voice is like a little, I don't know, there's something in my throat today. But anyways, take care. Bye.